Welcome to watch AAS 6000 Atomic Fluorescence Spectrometer Video Guide. Please carefully read and comply with safety operation instructions. Ensure all environmental requirements are met in the laboratory. For details, please refer to the user's menu. First, install hollow cathode lamp. Insert the lamp into the corresponding socket. During installation, be careful not to damage the lamp. Close the cover after installment. Second, power on instrument. Third, turn on air compressor. Fourth, turn on acetylene cylinder. Loosen auxiliary valve first, then turn on main valve. If the reader is less than 0 0.2 ampere, replace acetylene cylinder. Tighten auxiliary valve. Make output pressure reaching 0 0.1 ampere to 0 0.12 ampere. If a settling cylinder is not used for a long time, please inspect leakage first. Launch software. Enter user's name and password. First, set hollow cathode lamp. Click lamp number set under instrument control. Choose corresponding lamp number and element. Set parameters. Setting completed is shown in the status bar. Conduct wavelength scan. Click auto gaining to make AA value around 18%. Create new project. Enter relative information. Add standard samples and unknown sample. Revise concentration according to actual situations. Ignition. If ignition fails, click again. If ignition succeeds, flame can be watched in the position of automizer. Now we can see the flame.
we can set the flow of acetylene cylinder to adjust the flame. After setting, adjust the AA value by clicking Auto Gaining. Next, we can test standard samples. Shake sample wheel before test. Insert sampling tube into sample bottle. We can observe that the dynamic curve tends to be stable. Click sample or press space key to start measurement. Change sample now. Repeat the previous two steps until finishing testing or standard samples. After testing all standard samples, click Building a Working Curve to map a standard curve which is displayed on the upper right of interface. Next, test sample blank and unknown sample in turn. The concentration of unknown sample will be calculated and displayed automatically. Click Save to save project. Choose suitable 
save path and enter project name. After test, switch off acetylene cylinder. First, turn off main valve, then loosen auxiliary valve. Instrument will flame out automatically. If needed, click Print in File to print test results. It can be printed through default template. Click Exit button to close software. Power off instrument. Turn off air compressor. In this way, we have finished the measurement successfully.